Well, hello there, Tom Green coming back at you with some XD goodness, and today's experience design goodness covers off some of the interesting features on the update that came our way May 23rd, 2016. Uh, this is uh, becoming a habit. This habit is not unsurprising. They're quite on record as saying that they will be regularly updating the application based on user feedback. And I'll tell you, it's coming out monthly. So this is a good thing. And I must say, the app is coming along quite nicely. So let's uh, take a look at some of the things that came down the pipe the other night. So if I select this artboard right here, one of the first things that they changed is something uh, that drove me crazy and got a lot of people uh, sort of talking about it when I did the uh, color piece on XD last week. And that is the OSX color picker. Well, if you uh, come to the fill, you'll notice that the color picker is gone. We now have an HSB color picker. So you can uh, enter in HSB and uh, alpha values or even better, just move around inside the color picker and choose a color. Now, what I want to do is change the color of this artboard to a somewhat light gray. So I'll just move it to there. And I like that color and I'd like to use it for all of my artboards. So I just click the Save Color Swatch and you notice that the swatch is there. And we decide, you know, we'd like to have a red in there as well. So we're gonna add that to the uh, swatches. And then at some point, you might decide, no, we don't need that red. It really is way too much. Now, in the previous color picker, you just couldn't get rid of the swatches. Now you can. What you do is you just click on the one you want, hold on it, and just drag it off. Now watch what happens to the color chip when I let go of the mouse. Poof, gone. So we now have the ability to change our swatches up, uh, add and remove swatches. Another change that came in was the how text was used. So if I swing over to the text tool and just select, say, this word right here, or these two words right here, you can now mix and match fonts inside a text box. In previous uh, versions of the application, you just couldn't do that. If you changed it to, say, Times Roman, the whole text block would change to Times, not anymore. So if I come over here and change it to Times and press the Enter key, Notice the font changes, and not only that, I can change the size. So we'll change it to 24. And the other thing I can do is even change the weight. And then if I want, I can uh, come further into the text and change the font even more. So let's uh, just pick a weird font here. Uh, we'll go with, let's go with Trajan. And you can see, you can make that change. Now, another really interesting feature is the fact that artboards are now scrollable. And let me explain how all that works. I'm gonna zoom out a bit here. And I'm going to select this artboard. And with the artboard selected, now this is an iPhone 6 artboard. Now this, this technique, by the way, does not work with custom size artboards, so you gotta work with one of the presets. But if I pull this down, you'll see that dotted line? That tells me the original bottom of the artboard. And if I let go, I've now got a new size. And I can now select this object here. And using the option key, I can just add a couple of pieces to it. Let me just uh, pull this down a bit more. There we go. And with this artboard selected, I'm going to come over to Prototype View. And I'm going to come to Preview. And if you take a look at it, you can now scroll up and down inside the preview. This is going to be great for things like uh, long articles and uh, uh, slideshows and things like that. So there you go. There are some of the uh, changes that are brand new to the update. I think they're pretty cool, and I look forward to seeing what else comes down the pipe from our friends at the Experience Design team.